What's up guys? So in this video, we're going to talk about how to add an alternative host to your Zoom meeting, just in case you can't make it and you want someone else to be able to start that meeting for you. I have an Outlook calendar item here and I'm clicking to add a Zoom meeting. Now, if you haven't done so already, you will need to sign into your Zoom account and you would have had to install the Zoom Outlook extension, which I'll put in the description below. Once you've added that, you'll see your traditional Zoom meeting information, but we can modify this. And so to do that, we're gonna click on the settings button here. And if we scroll down, we'll see various options we can turn on and off, whether we wanna use our personal meeting ID, whether we want a passcode or the waiting room. And then if we want what type of audio to use. But all the way down here, we see advanced options. Go ahead and click on show, and that's where we'll see this additional information here. So under alternative host, you just put the email address for the Zoom account. They do need to have a Zoom account that you're wanting to have added. It cannot be a guest account. Now note here, there can only be one host in a Zoom meeting. You can have several co-hosts, but only one host. So this alternative host is just in case you can't make it to your own meeting and you want someone else to be able to start the meeting for you. This works great if you have a open office hour that you're wanting several people to manage and each one of you will take turns running it. Perfect, alternative host, boom. Once you click on update, it does update the Zoom information automatically in the link. And so we can go ahead and click to save and close and it would go ahead and save that information for us. Now, the other way to do that is to go into your Zoom control panel here and click on schedule and then create your meeting however you would like. And then down here at the bottom, once again, advanced options. And so if we click on advanced options, there is the alternative host information. Again, put their email address for their Zoom account and click on schedule and you would be good to go. And that's how you do it. Hope that was helpful. Until next time, catch you later.